G'day, I'm Adam Hills. Welcome to The Last Leg Correspondence, where we send comedians out into the big bad world and see if they ever make it back. This week, Lolly Adafope is examining the social bubbles we all seem to find ourselves in. In a world of Facebook and Twitter only directing you to the views you agree with, it's sometimes hard to get all sides of an argument. I don't know about you guys, I actually... I've purposely stayed friends with people on Facebook that have got some pretty abhorrent views just because I want to get another side of any argument. That's, so, that's why I see Brooker every Friday. <laughs> <laughs> I've done the same, but she's my mum. <laughs> I'd like you save that joke for the online content that you know she won't look at. <laughs> <laughs> Just sometimes it's interesting to see what... I'm, I'm not on Facebook or Twitter. I don't, I don't read Twitter, so I, I, I'm just in a bubble of my own. <laughs> I, occasionally I'll just disagree with myself to keep things exciting. <laughs> now, Lolly doesn't just want to talk to people outside her bubble. She wants to try dating them. Now, and look, here's the thing. We know opposites attract, but what if they are completely opposed to everything you stand for? Have you, have you ever dated an opposite? Yeah, I went out of an octopus once. Um... <laughs> so, so... <laughs> Great chat, though. You mm. talked about how he predicted eight World Cup games in a row, didn't you? <laughs> uh, she was a sucker for me. Oh, hey. She was worth a few squid, huh? <laughs> That's me done. <laughs> I, I, I knew I'd, I'd gone on the wrong date uh, once when I, I took a girl to a jazz club and halfway through the night she said, do they know any Guns N' Roses? By the way, is, yeah. is jazz club like a, a euphemism? Like, I sometimes tell people I've taken girls to the candy shop. Right. Is that...? <laughs> no. That's it's how... not like, and then you went home and looked at some jazz mags. That's how, <laughs> that's how much of a hit I was with the ladies. I thought taking them to a jazz club was a great night out. <laughs> Did you, did you get a second date? No. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Will Lolly Adafope expand her horizons? Will she find true love? Will we ever see her again? Let's find out. Hi, I'm Lolly Adafope, and my generation gets criticised a lot. We're buying too much avocado toast, we're not saving £500 a month to buy a house, and we're all stuck in our own echo chambers, listening to the same old opinions and never being challenged on our liberal, like-minded, 20-something ideals. Both in person and online, our points of view increasingly go uncontested. You're right, Jeremy Corbyn is the absolute boy. <laughs> I love IPA, no way, yeah. Cool. And it's not just politics. Oh, no. Being stuck in one's echo chamber can lead to even more devastating results. That's right. Romance. I'm 26 years old and I've been single for all 26 of those years. Up to. I'm just in bed. <laughs> Woo! Yes! Never been with a blackbird before. <laughs> hey, me again. I know you said you're not looking for a relationship, but neither am I. I mean, I am, but whatever, you know. So. Oh my god, look at this cute dog! Can you get away from my dog, please? Sorry, sorry. It's me, again. <laughs> Look, just come over. We don't even have to talk to each other. <laughs> Why is it so hard for me to find love? That's right, echo chambers. I've been dating the same old friends of friends and whoever I match with within a three kilometre radius. It's time for me to widen my net and meet people who are completely different from me in the hope that outside of my echo chamber, love awaits. Hi, Lolly. How are you? How's it going? Nice to meet yeah, you. Nice to meet you. Wow. How was your journey? Yeah, not too bad, thanks. Uh, would, you, would you call yourself a feminist? I'm 100% a feminist on paper. <laughs> so a feminist would be your type? <laughs> yeah, why not? Okay. <laughs> well, this is going great, because I'm a feminist. Because I was also thinking about uh, if we get married yeah. and how you feel about Johnny Adafope. About what? Johnny Adafope. What, that's what your name would be, obviously, because I'm Lolly Adafope. <laughs> I, was gonna say, I thought that was a term, like a phobia or something. Johnny a phobia. <laughs> <laughs> Genuinely did. How would you describe yourself in three words? 
think I'm quite mature. Mm. I think I'm reasonably intelligent. I mean, I don't know if that's like... Don't do yourself down. I think you're very intelligent. Well, there you go. Are you happy with that one? Yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah, all right. Um, how, do you, how do you feel the date's going so far? Quite well, yeah. yeah. Food's nice as well. Is this what you expected from going on a date with a comedian? I expected it to be more funny. Wow! <laughs> that takes me back. <laughs> Not the first time I've heard that. Um, I don't really tell jokes. You're I, more of like a... I'm a character comedian. You're so a character, yeah. I do characters on stage. Um, I've got a girl who's like, I'm so mad. I'm so rando. <laughs> this is great. I'm really enjoying this. I think you would, I think you would love That's the That's good. I'm, I'm definitely going to have to come to one of your shows. Yeah, definitely. do. I think we'd make a really good couple. OK, nice. Well, this has been fantastic. It's been lovely. I've had a great time. What would you rate this 8 out of 10? I'll go first. I would rate it a 9. Yeah, I'd give it an 8 or a 9. Yeah. A 9, yeah. A 9 then, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Think your date went? I think my date was good. I had a lot of fun. We had some great chats, but he didn't really make me laugh. And in a prospective partner, that is one of the most important things that I look for, whether I'm inside my echo chamber or out of my echo chamber. <laughs>
best date I've ever been on. Yeah. Um, I would probably rate Snack. it at a 10 at the moment. At 10? Out of 10? Out of 10, yeah. Good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> would you, uh, what would you rate it at? Yeah, 10. Yeah, good. Out of 10. Great. This is, this is fantastic. <laughs> what, a, what a dream I'm come true. I'm having a great time. <laughs> <laughs> Um, have you thought about what to eat? Yeah, yeah, I was looking at a few bits. I was thinking maybe we just get some ribs as a starter to share. Uh, not for me. I'm a vegan. Hmm? You're vegan? Yeah. I'm done. I'm done. I could, I'm done now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can we get this mic off me, please? Can we get the mic off? Now. I'm done. Well, there you have it. Whether you're inside your echo chamber or out, it's pretty impossible to find love. One thing's for sure, I won't be going vegan anytime soon. <laughs> I've been Lolly Adafope, The Last Leg. Started doing that. <laughs> Thank you, Lolly. Join Thank us next week when Rosie Jones takes a look at disability assessments. See you then. Her afterwards, she was lovely. She's lovely. She's she great. said, "Here's my card if you ever need a one-legged stripper." <laughs> <laughs> have, have you got that card? <laughs> <laughs> what was great was watching Alex on the red carpet. This oh. girl went to me, um, "Oh, Alex, can you sign this for me?" And she went, "Actually, can you sign this?" <laughs>